Hi, hello. Thank you, thank you. It's very good to be here. Uh, I like living in Southern California. I'm kind of obsessed with all the local newscasters in the area, like all the local news affiliates. I love how they always do this kind of like sing-songy, childish intro into news stories. Like they never just start a news story. They have to find a weird way into it. You know what I mean? Where they'll just be like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger in your neighborhood. <laughs> a local zoo has re... Is the tiger loose? You can just mention the missing tiger and I'll take that information and run away. You don't have to be all coy about your news and be like, me Chinese, me play joke, me put poison in your Coke. <laughs> Tragedy strikes Beijing today. Seven dead, two horny. They do, they do that, and then they'll do that other weird thing where they're like, we've all heard of the old woman who lives in a shoe, but an old man who has sex with shoes? Tom Schneider's on scene today. <laughs> they'll just cut to an old guy having sex with a shoe. It's an odd way to do your news. Just be like, we've all heard of the Blue Man Group, but three bodies have been found in the LA River. <laughs> Police are baffled. I'm uh, trying to online date, it's a nightmare. Uh, I use OkCupid okay because it's free. I'm trying to find my soulmate, don't want to spend a lot. Don't want to flash a lot of cash. No gold diggers, please. It's really funny, like, starting the process of online dating, like, you really see the differences and levels of fear going into it between men and women. Like, it's so radically disproportionate. Like, guys' number one fear with online dating is you're gonna show up to the date and the girl's not gonna look exactly like her photo is generally the fear guys have, right? She'll be a bit bigger, right? Women's number one fear is that they'll be murdered. <laughs> See how radically disproportionate that is? Guys are just like, I hope she's not a nugamug. <laughs> Women are like, I hope my head's still with me at the end of this day. I hope I'm not at the bottom of a well. Like, half the time when I email women, I'm basically just trying to say I'm not a sociopath. Like, the first couple of exchanges, like, my profile picture is just a pile of guns and knives and me just being like, no, poo, uh, uh, those are gross. Doesn't work. I've uh, been on two. I've been on two online dates. I haven't been on any more. And the reason is both times the girl that showed up was super nice, really sweet, but easily like 55 pounds bigger than her profile picture. You know, like a liar. That's fine. <laughs> But that's happened both times. That's happened twice. If that happens a third time, I'm gonna murder that girl. <laughs> and then we'll both be right. I think, <laughs> I think our grandparents' generation was like the last sweet, really romantic generation. Like that's where you hear all the like crazy stories. There's like, I married your grandmother the day I met her. Just like these weird, impulsive, romantic, decisions and I was thinking about that and it finally dawned on me all of our grandparents sweet romantic stories it's just Asperger's that nobody was diagnosing back then <laughs> like I'm not trying to be mean but just no social cues like they don't understand what they're doing is like crazy creepy inappropriate behavior how'd I meet your grandmother well I used to see her around the block thought she was pretty cute so I found out where she worked. <laughs> Every day, I would wait for her to come home off the bus. <laughs> and I would propose marriage to her. <laughs> for 200 days in a row, I propose marriage to your grandmother. And every day she'd say, no, who are you? And <laughs> no, you can't. And all the 201st days, she said, yes, and made me the happiest man in the world. Now, what do you think about that? It sounds like you defeated a broken woman. <laughs> it sounds like it's the 1950s. Grandma's got no other options. Like, what is she going to do? Go to the police? Hi, yeah, there's a guy who's been following me around. Oh, sounds like we got a case. Case of the puppy loves. <laughs> well, I'm really scared. He's outside my place all the time. Foul this one under boys will be boys. <laughs> It's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. <laughs>